Falk engineered just one scoring drive in the first half and didn't appear to be injured when Leach yanked him with 2.56 left in the half. Hilinski completed seven of eight passes and scrambled into the end zone from six yards to make it 2014. But WSU led Arizona returner Tyrell Johnson scamper for 50 yards on the ensuing kickoff, setting up the strong-legged Haversick for the first field goal of his career. The Cougars trailed by as many as 13 points in the half and were outgained 281-192 by redshirt sophomore Phenom Khalil Tate and the Wildcats. Jalen Thompson pinged Tate in the backfield on the game's opening play for a loss of three yards, but the UAQB unleashed a 43-yard downfield pass to Sean Poindexter to put the Wildcats in WSU territory. The Tate was unable to scramble to the first down marker on third down, and Arizona would settle for a 30-yard Josh Pollock field goal. The Wildcats forced a three and out on the Cougars' first offensive series and extended their lead when Tate spied his tight end open downfield and then hit Jamie Nonley for a 48-yard score. Luke Falk and the WSU offense couldn't make it to midfield on their next drive and looked like they'd be giving the ball back to the Wildcats for a third time, but Arizona's Shun Brown muffed Kyle Sweet's punt, and the Cougars took over on the opponent's 25-yard line. Six plays later, they were in the end zone. Falk threw a bullet to Isaiah Johnson Mack on the goal line to cut the Arizona lead to 10-7. The Cougars could have tied the score at 10 apiece when they rolled out kicker Eric Powell to try a 56-yard field goal. Powell's boot had the distance, but sailed wide left. Instead Arizona continued to pad its lead. Tate went deep to Tony Ellison for a 41-yard completion, then hit Brown on a sideline screen for a 17-yard TD, making it 17-7. Tate registered his fourth run of 70 yards or longer on the next play, but what was initially ruled an 86-yard touchdown came back when referees decided Tate had stepped out at the two-yard line. The Cougars played stout defense and held the Wildcats to a field goal.